Good morning. It's Friday, September 8th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Will They Never Learn? And our scripture is Psalm chapter 14. The Lord looks down from heaven on the entire human race. He looks to see if anyone is truly wise, if anyone seeks God. But no, all have turned away. All have become corrupt. No one does good, not a single one. Will those who do evil never learn? The psalmist could have inserted my picture as the headline to this psalm. He was being kind and discreet, but this has me written all over it. The evidence is overwhelming, but one incident in particular gives the overall sense of stubbornness lodged deep in my soul. It happened on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon drive. There wasn't much money in our household budget, so a family drive was a major tool to combat hot summer boredom. This was long before the price of gas reached a zillion dollars a gallon, back when air conditioning in cars was for the rich. To keep cool, we had 450 air conditioning. You opened the car's four windows and drove 50 miles per hour. But I digress. On one of those drives down the country lanes and back roads my dad favored, he half turned to us boys in the back seat and told us to close our eyes. Russell did the ten-year-old thing every parent has heard. Why? Dad replied, just close them, you'll see. Russell said, but how can I see with my eyes closed? Dad said, Russell J. Brownworth, just close your eyes. Russell rolling eyes and sighing rather dramatically. But what if I don't want to? It's too late now. Just forget it. Later that day, my older brother Tom informed me the moment that I had trashed with my attitude was Dad's attempt to add just a little more excitement to the ride. He was coming to that dip in the road and was speeding up to get us airborne. (laughs) It's one of those weightless instants when you're suspended between going up and then down. It's the apex of a hill's up and down that makes your stomach do a loop-de-loop. We couldn't afford to go to the carnival rides, so Dad was trying to bring the roller coaster to us. I wonder how often Dad whispered to himself, Will he never learn? That incident always turns my mind to how my Heavenly Father may have the same thought, not just about Russell, about God's entire family. Sometimes our foolish ways are beyond understanding. We steal moments of selfish pleasure, thinking to enhance our lives and self-esteem, only to find ourselves crumbling on the inside in shame and emptiness. We kill each other with amazing regularity, playing out Cain's hatred. We mock God with our little sandcastles of empires and imperialism and find them washed away with the next tide. Nothing we build lasts, and little is our self-aggrandizement recognized for the childish illusion of life we claim. In short, like a ten-year-old stuffed with pride, we won't listen to a single bit of helpful joy. And God says, will they never learn? for you today. Willfulness and pride aren't hard to hold on to, but they are the devil to let go of, and their results are harder to swallow than just one spoiled moment on the roller coaster. Failing to let go of self, to find oneself wrapped in the everlasting arms of love from Father, is the most costly of all our obtuse ways. This begs the question unendingly, Will we never learn? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.